In the past lessons, we've reviewed everything you need to know to secure the perfect domain name for your website and even how to connect it to an email server. In this recap, we'll move forward with how to update your domain to point to your new website and tips for managing it moving forward. We began this course, A Guide to Domains, breaking down the parts of the domain name and understanding the fun world of domain extensions. Many times, you can take a main domain and create a variety of subdomains to accomplish different website addresses, like the store.glowup.salon. For strategy, we discussed keeping it short, avoiding hyphens, numbers, and confusing abbreviations, and the difference between leveraging keywords and your brand name. Then we looked at the steps of registering a domain name, who owns it, and why it's essential to ensure you have control so you can renew and not lose it. Then we looked at the technical aspects of DNS settings. DNS stands for Domain Name System or, or Domain Name Server. They're responsible for connecting domain names to web and email servers. In this final lesson, we'll review a sample domain's DNS records and break down what we see so you know how to manage your domain moving forward. And we'll use GoDaddy's DNS Manager. If you register your domain with GoDaddy, this is the interface you'll see when you want to manage your domain. Log into your GoDaddy account. Click My Products. And from there, go to the Domains tab and click Manage All. A list of your domains displays. From the Manage column, go to the domain you want to manage, click the ellipses, and then select Manage DNS. This will take you to the DNS management page. Here you'll see your DNS zone file, and you can make necessary changes to your records. And for this demo, we'll look at a fake DNS for the domain glowup.salon. The first type of record is an A record with an at symbol as the name. And that at symbol represents the main domain. In this case, at just means glowup.salon. The value part of this record is the IP address for the hosting server the website is on at GoDaddy. GoDaddy provides this number, so all that's needed is to copy and paste. Next is the type of record C name with the name of www. This redirects to the main domain in case someone types www. For that reason, we have the subdomain www redirecting to at or the main domain, glowup.salon. Remember all those domain variations like glowupsalon.com we discussed in a previous lesson? Remember I do. those? Yeah. When you set up glowupsalon.com to forward to glowup.salon, you just create a CNAME record for your DNS record for glowupsalon.com. After that, we have the MX records for the email servers that use GoDaddy's email service. And there are always more than one to ensure emails get through. And they're set up in priority, so if one fails, it goes to another. It's common to have three or more records to enter here. Following that is a string of characters for the SPF, DKIM, and DMARC entries. You'll notice that the MX records, SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are all entered as TXT or text records. DNS changes can take up to 48 hours to propagate around the world. Propagate is a fancy word for the time it takes for everyone to get notified of your changes. If your changes don't immediately take effect, don't stress. Just check back later, and if 48 hours pass with no update, go ahead and contact support. Through this course, we hope we have demystified the domain name, giving you inspiration to register the perfect one, and giving you the confidence to handle managing it all by yourself. With GoDaddy, all these steps are simplified. However, by understanding the details, you can know the bits and pieces that make your domain tick and talk to the rest of the world. Moving forward, register your domain name with some of those creative new domain extensions and get to put your stamp on the web. <laughs>